So one of the requests that I've gotten on my chicken first aid video was to address sour crop, how to treat it, what is it, um, and how can you prevent this in your hen? So first off, sour crop is a yeast infection in the crop leading to thickening of the crop wall, dilation of the crop, loss of conditions, and even death. So if you suspect that you have a hen with a crop issue, you're gonna to wanna to get on top of that right away. So to diagnose your hen, the first thing you're gonna do is you are going to feel her crop. If it feels squishy and like a water balloon, it was inflated the day before and hasn't gone down at all, and your hen has a stinky, sour, yeasty smell to her breath, then it's safe to assume that she does have sour crop. So you're going to want to isolate her while sour crop is not contagious. Uh, it's best to isolate her so that you can control her food and water intake. So you're gonna withhold food and water for 24 hours. Of course, if it is summertime, just withhold the food and give her only the water that she needs. I wouldn't leave her out in the heat of the day. I would bring her into more of a climate controlled environment. But you're going to withhold that food and water. After 24 hours, you're gonna gently massage her crop from the top down. What you don't wanna do is you do not wanna turn your hen upside down and dump that fluid out. So that can cause her to aspirate and lead to respiratory issues and even kill her. So you don't wanna turn her upside down. Um, that's not a course of treatment that's gonna help you out. It might even um, kill her faster. So don't flip her upside down, massage the crop. Uh, and then what you're gonna wanna do is you are gonna wanna treat with Monistat 7. So it's made for people. Uh, they don't have an over-the-counter or even a treatment available really for poultry as far as sour crop goes. So you're gonna use Monistat. You're gonna give her about 0.5 cc's orally for seven days in a row. If she doesn't start to improve on days four through five, I would go ahead and start doing it twice a day. It's important to note that while you're doing this treatment, you want to give her the Monistat before she's had anything else to eat or drink for the day. As far as prevention goes, um, make sure that you don't have any long stringy grass. Make sure she's got grit available to her. Um, prevent the consumption of wood chips or other litter, straw, those kinds of things. And avoid foreign object consumption. So make sure your run is cleaned up. Make sure there's no litter or debris that she can get into. And uh, you just wanna make sure that she's not eating any inedible objects like string or anything like that. So the takeaways from this are have Monistat on hand. Don't tip your hen upside down to drain the fluid and make sure that you isolate her, withdraw that food and water and treat with the monostat. Hopefully this helps.